In today's video, I'm taking a look at how you can get this Games of Summer Growl. Yo guys, welcome back to another video on our channel, and today we're going to take a look at how you can get the Games of Summer Growl that is in the game right now. Obviously, you guys know if you come over and complete this Games of Summer playlist little thing that's right here, you guys are going to unlock the Growl that it looks like this. It's a very nice skin, actually. It's pretty cool. And if you guys do want to get this along with the other rewards that you do get along the way, then you definitely want to watch this video. Just quickly before I jump into the tips for the video, if you guys are new around here, be sure to smash that subscribe button with notifications turned on for daily uploads on Call of Duty tips and tricks, class up videos, and update videos on the game. Also, guys, if this video does help you out and you are going to try and get this growth yourself, let me know in the comments below how you get on. And also smash a big thumbs up, as it really does help me out, guys. But yeah, basically, guys, what you want to do, you want to come over, and as you can see, there are five different uh, challenges here. I've not done them all myself. I've done them on one account for someone else. I haven't done them for myself yet because I just haven't had time for. However, I'm going to show you exactly how you want to get used to getting these, and you are going to be able to get gold on every single one. So I'm going to come over to the shooting range one, the last one, for example, the one that I've given a, a try on here, and I've just not done it quite yet. However, like I say, I have done it on a, another account for someone else, and it was pretty easy once I realized what I had to do. So we're just going to load into this right now. Obviously, all you got to do is pick a gun. I'm actually going to take the pistol with the most bullets in, which is this one right here. And we're also going to take the AK as it does more damage. So all we're going to do is as we come out, obviously, you can see there are no targets. You're just going to come out, and then you're going to start banging at the targets just like so. And basically, guys, all you want to do is just keep playing this, right? I have not warmed up at all today. It's literally my first time shooting a single gun on COD today. So it's like, I'm not really on it right now. However, if you guys are playing, if you've been playing for a while anyway, um, you boys are going to be warmed up. You're going to be getting these shots on. But also, as you can see, guys, I, I have a good understanding of where the targets are on this map. Like, I have an idea of where they all are. And that's just because I've played it so many times. Like, I've just played through this whole course several times. Obviously, I'm losing these last two here. And as you can see, guys, I didn't get on too badly, right? Within 38 seconds, it's not terrible. Like I said, it was the first time trying it today. But because I've played this one a couple of times to get used to it and work out where the targets are, I know where the targets are and I know the quickest routes to take. You're going to learn this as you start playing, guys. So basically, my advice is to just keep playing it and playing it and playing it until you, one, learn the map that you're, you're, you're playing in, and two, once you realize exactly where the targets are. As you can see, they respawn in the same position every single time. And if you are getting your shots on, like I'm not quite right now, but if your shot is on and you are learning the map, like I say, you're going to have this done in no time at all, guys. It's literally going to take you no time whatsoever. Like you'll absolutely smash it out of the park and I'm sure you guys are going to do a much better job than what I'm doing right now. But as you can see, like because I know where all these targets are and I've low-key have worked out the best routes for each target to be shot from, it just makes it a lot easier, guys. Like you're just going to work out the best routes, like I say. I actually can't remember where these targets are. This is what I mean. If I didn't, I didn't follow the same route that I did in the last one. Therefore, I messed myself up and just didn't remember where, where, what targets I've shot at. But if you guys, like I say, do keep playing it and just keep running through the maps and uh, learning where the target. See, that was an absolute terrible attempt. But you saw in the first round, I followed a route that I learned in the previous times of playing it. I just didn't follow it in the second round. Let's look how much worse it got. So all the advice that I'm giving you guys is just please go into these games, the different ones, even the parkour ones, exactly the same. You're going to learn the route and what bits you need to jump onto to get the fastest way around. Like, it is, they're all the same. It's all just a case of map knowledge and knowing where the, the targets or the jumping uh, sections are going to be. So all you guys need to do is load into the games. You've got, it's going to take you a while. It's not going to be a five-minute job. It's not going to literally be done within five minutes. But all you guys need to do is keep playing the same ones over and over and over again and really start learning the map or the course or whatever you want to call it. And you will understand where you need to go, where the targets are, the best route for you to take. And you'll just start smashing it, guys. Like, believe me, I've done it myself. I've done it on another account, like I say. You literally just have to learn the map and get keep playing. And then you, you will be hitting these times. Therefore, you will end up getting the growl reward at the end. So if this video has helped you out, be sure to smash a big thumbs up as it really will help me out, guys. Like I say, the only advice that you can really give for this one is to just learn the map. And just learn the quickest route to get around the map and hit all the targets as much as possible. But yeah, guys, I hope this video has helped you out. If it has, be sure to smash a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. Also, guys, if you can share this about, we're trying to hit 2K subs as soon as possible, really. We're just on the road to 2K subs and hopefully 5K by the end of the year. So if you guys can help me out with that, that'd be absolutely amazing. But yeah, also check out all my social medias and my Twitch link, which we stream every Monday, Wednesday and Friday on down in the description. But yeah, guys, I appreciate you watching the end and I'll catch you in the next one in a bit.